There we are. We're uh, making an attempt to charge if the battery suffice to fire up old girl here. And uh, unfortunately, this go around my jumper box uh, wasn't quite enough to turn it over. So I came up with plan B. Uh, got the charger here going. And, uh, you know, theory, I should be able to jump it as it is, but for one reason or another, it does not. It's still not quite enough, but yet I turn the gauge on and it's higher than it is when I got the jumper box hooked up. You know, it's going to go all the way up to 50% or halfway mark, just the way how it is right now. And it seemed like that would be enough to turn it over, but no. So what I got going on, we're going to get the charger on the battery for another little bit and I got my booster charging as I speak right now and we're gonna try it again previously it's been suffice part of what the problem is this battery here uh, it's a heavy-duty marine grade RV battery uh, you know, repeated to be Pretty fucking badass. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, high, uh, high reserve capacitance and cold start ability, blah, blah. It's geared for everything. But it's, honestly, it's on its last leg a little bit, and so I'm just trying to uh, suffice it along for hopefully the rest of the season because I don't believe I'm going to be able to get this gal out may maybe if I'm lucky one time my neighbor over there might help me do that like he done did last time but I don't know and then I'm trying to uh, uh, negotiate or figure out for lack of a better term on uh, storage facility at an off-site location put inside a barn and uh, and go from there but we're gonna try and fire it up today and get our rocks off maybe call in some Bill Cosby I don't think we need it but we just might have him around just for fun all right, no.